Hello, I'm Sam Lopez, uh, European Sales Manager for Matrox Imaging. We're a Canadian company. Uh, we've been around and doing this for 33 years now. And what we'd like to do today is just take you through some of the um, highlights, I guess, of new products being introduced at the Vision Show here in Stuttgart. Right behind me here is a uh, station uh, where we're introducing the new release of uh, Design Assistant version 2.2. Uh, the Iris GT, our smart camera, basically makes use of this uh, software, enabling you to develop applications. And what we've got on this station is demoing um, two modules, if you will, of Design Assistant. Um, on the first side, you've got a um, bead inspection application. This is basically an application mainly used in the automotive industry. You've all seen this uh, when installing windshields on a car. You've got a bead of glue basically that's inserted on the perimeter of that uh, frame and the windshield basically gets inserted. They actually have to inspect that bead of glue making sure that there aren't any gaps or any discontinuities along that bead and over here on the monitor you can see a sample a short and small sample but nevertheless gives you a good feeling for what the bead inspection application does on the uh, left hand side you've got a uh, typical ocv or uh, character verification uh, system and what we're doing there is just simply reading this uh, character or these printouts on the uh, vials that are underneath this turntable and uh, basically verifying that the date codes and lot codes are correct. So just two very quick and simple uh, examples uh, showing the power of the Iris GT. What I'd like to show uh, now is uh, a spin-off, basically. We started with the Iris GT. Uh, from the Iris GT, we come to the Iris or the Gator Eye, uh, which is uh, our version of a uh, IP67 Gigi vision camera. The point, the main point to retain here is that it is an IP67, so a ruggedized uh, enclosure for this camera. Uh, the purpose of that, of course, or the main uh, utilization of this is in industrial environments, typically factory floors where you've got a lot of dust, you've got a lot of um, uh, you know, uh, contaminants. Uh, you're trying to protect your camera and trying to keep it basically uh, dry and clean. So the enclosure, of course, allows you to wash it down. Very useful when working in a uh, food processing type of environment or a pharmaceutical type of environment where this type of uh, camera is uh, mostly going to be used. In this demo, we're also highlighting the uh, capabilities of uh, MIL. Again, um, the software that uh, drives these, uh, these devices. So what we've got in this demo over here is a uh, laser line being scanned across uh, two sample uh, items here, two objects, and we're creating a profile. The profile basically gives you a depth map of the uh, object under inspection, and we're using that then to, to, to do basic measurements. In the uh, example we've got here, you've got a good sample and a um, bad or a defective sample. And what we're looking at here is basically the profile uh, shows the, uh, the good sample and very quickly you're able to identify the, uh, the gap there, which is obviously the defect that we're looking for. All of this is done within, uh, within MIL and of course we're using our world famous Foresight X to do the actual processing. I'd like to uh, show you now the uh, Matrox SuperSight. This is our high-end industrial uh, computing platform and um, the, unique, uh, the unique features of this product is basically a PCI, uh, PCIe backplane, segmented backplane uh, that allows you to uh, insert multiple CPU cards, GPU cards and of course frame grabbers for your video acquisition. And in this demonstration what we're showing is the SuperSight loaded with uh, all three of those technologies, the, the front end being a Radiant Frame Grabber card, which is our uh, acquisition and pre-processing card in this case, and of course uh, several GPU and CPU cards, each one of those forming a, what we call a cluster uh, to allow us to do uh, processing on several images, or if you will, images coming from this camera uh, at, this, at the same time or uh, simultaneously. 
We've got a line scan camera here from Basler, and it is focused on this rotating drum, which is holding a, a strip of uh, actual postage, uh, postage stamps. And uh, each frame is successively uh, acquired, but then simultaneously sent to a separate node in the system to actually do the processing simultaneously. If you look at the display over here, uh, on the left-hand side, you see the actual acquired image. And what we're doing is within the Radiance uh, FPGA, we're using the FPGA to do a correction on the fact that the camera uh, is not perfectly perpendicular to the drum. So you're getting a parallax effect. And what we're doing is we're correcting it. Um, of course, then on the right-hand side, all we're doing there is using some simple blob analysis to detect the perforations uh, of each uh, between the stamps and detecting whether all the perforations are in fact the way they normally should be. So there you have it. We're showing the SuperSight um, capabilities uh, and its ability to house multiple technologies and all using the same Matrox imaging library to program and use it.